So in 2022, we have seen a lot of 2-in-1 laptop tablet hybrids, some that are unique, budget friendly, etc. And they're all great, but for most people, some are better than others. So we're going over the top 2-in-1s that are, in my opinion, the best for students, and most people in general. So let's go over the list. So starting off, we've got the best budget 2-in-1, and that goes to the Surface Go 3. With its great design, build quality, and surprisingly okay connectivity, it's a fantastic budget 2-in-1 device. And in regards to who I'd recommend this for though, it is best used as a companion to your setup rather than your primary work device, because its performance is average, but you can still get a ton of work done on it, such as with taking notes. So it's great for students who have another laptop as well. Or if you really want this to be your primary laptop, just take note that the starter model of this device is held back a little bit performance wise. So make sure you spec it out to your needs. Now also in this category, I want to talk about the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet Chromebook as well, which is yes, a Chromebook, meaning you won't get the freedom of Windows, but as is common with Chromebooks, the IdeaPad Duet has incredible battery life. So if you want a companion to your setup that will last multiple days, definitely check this one out as well. Now in terms of the most versatile or most creative artist focused 2-in-1, I gotta talk about the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio, which is a modular laptop that can kinda convert into an easel or a tablet. So it's great for creatives or those who just want to draw with their device. It's super versatile and high performing. You can even configure it with a dedicated GPU so it can handle most programs that you want to run and it will not disappoint. However, it is a little pricey, so keep that in mind. And this section for my Apple lovers is the best laptop -y tablet. The M1 iPad Pro is a mostly tablet that can do some of the things that a laptop can, such as edit videos or photos, which it does especially well with the performance of the M1 chip. And it is still probably one of the best devices for artists because of its Apple Pencil integration. On top of that, its usability with other Apple products is just unbeaten. So I'd recommend the M1 iPad Pro for those who want an Apple device primarily. And with that said, now let's get on to my more well-rounded devices. First, let's go over the runner-up for the best all-rounder device. This is the HP Spectre X360, one of the best two-in-ones on the market that can certainly be argued as the best one because of its great screen, good performance, and overall premium design. But the issue that I have with it is that its battery life is not amazing, and it's surpassed by our best overall device, on average. Additionally, it is a little expensive and a bit heavy, making it inconvenient and cumbersome for the typical consumer. Even then though, if you prefer the HP Spectre X360 over my number one pick, go for it. And, and, and in this section, we also have the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5, which has fairly reasonable specs for a fairly reasonable price. It's a great all-rounder, but it suffers from a poor screen and some quality control issues. But it's still a good two-in-one at its price point. And while we're at it, one more runner-up, the Lenovo Yoga 9i. A great device that has a lot going for it in terms of premium quality and features. However, it is expensive. It does go on sale quite often, but for retail, it is a bit too pricey. So keep that in mind, but it's still a good two-in-one. And now for my overall best device, there are two. I decided to include both of these devices depending on your needs, and of course, my experience with them. These being the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 and the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. First, let's talk about the Surface Pro 8. It's a great all-rounder 2-in-1. For the typical student and buyer, it's got everything you want, plus more. A great weight, portability, and premium build. On top of that, it's got great pen integration, so you can take notes on it very well. The only drawbacks for it would be its lack of a dedicated GPU and its connectivity. But with that said, I would recommend this PC for those who want a more tablet-y device. Now, if you want a more laptop-y computer, I would recommend you get the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. This one is quite similar to the HP Spectre X360, and it actually has fewer speakers and security features, but it's lighter and has a better battery life. Plus, it has the added bonus of good integration with other Samsung devices. So it's a great device overall, and you won't be disappointed with it. That was the list. Overall though, I hope this helps with your purchase. If you know of any other two-in-ones and you would like to tell me, please feel free to do so in the comment section down below. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like Cyrus, just take out the tur. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your purchase and have a wonderful day.